Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Civilization 3 as the Maya. Where we're having some slight progress. Uh, I've forgotten to check just how advanced our en enemies are. Other folks are. Uh, they are advanced enough, I suppose. Uh, don't want to mess with any of them for now. Good, we have the bank. Um, yeah, fine start on the Colosseum. You're gonna change it next turn. And I'm pretty much running out of things to improve, so I'm just building railroad, railroads, building roads everywhere. Uh, move units and stack. Just move there. Oh yeah, into the jungle. Would have been nice if they actually moved us a stack and didn't actually give you a zillion combat animations like that. But it can't have everything. As much as I'd like to have everything, as you probably figured out by watching this. Uh, yeah. Sometimes things just don't work out. Let's see, this square is now fully fixed. Very good. Move on. Once we get the trade company going, we're definitely going to take up faster. And yeah, now we're going to beeline for the theory of gravity. Or are we? No, I want the tech. I want the tech and I want to be ready. And you finished the harbor there. Good, I wanted it. That means we can actually make some trade deals. Go there. No, I didn't have to, apparently. Um, let's see, all of you, move to the mountain. Okay, so if I move one square, I'll get the combat anim the animations, but if I move multiple squares, they'll actually move as a stack. Hmm. So again, if I move one square... Well, there was only one guy there, so... Never mind then. Uh, that's not actually part of a city. So we're making a ton of gold, and I don't. Can I adjust the rate? For that matter, do I want to? I mean, we can use all this gold to upgrade our units, which would be very beneficial also. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just going to keep it at 40. Make a ton of money. Uh, trades potential. Shouldn't we have trade route capacities with these guys now? I mean, we have connection to them, don't we? Let's talk to them. Let's start with up here. I'd like to propose a deal. You have nothing to offer us at all. So, yeah, goodbye with you. And probably Bismarck is the next one in terms of weakness. You have gunpowder. You'd be willing to trade that, maybe. But no resources and you're dying, so... Yeah, you're down to Leipzig. Yeah, you're definitely dying. Inca, you are polite, but you have no resources to trade. You have tons of towns. 
and also a bit behind in tech, but... Autoblobs, you are... You have two extra silk, why can't we trade? If we had a sea route, we could... Why don't we have a sea route there? Ugh. Annoying. Guess we have to set sail down there for to meet them. Okay, so... Gilgamesh! What about you? Yeah, printing press and economics. Yeah, you... Arg! Your teching is just insane. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Missy. Yeah, we'll just wait and see. Four turns, we'll know if we have Soul Peter. And if we don't... <laughs> oh, the poor Germans. You've been completely destroyed. Why don't you take take a peace offer? Yeah, sure. Ugh. Um, what's gonna come first here? A university? And then the cathedral and the courthouse? Desperately need the money, so... Yeah, the bank. Courthouse into Colosseum. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, you finished the mine, I believe. Good to do. Good, 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 good. Go here. And you too. Build a mine. I'm more interested right now in uh, production. Given that we can't actually get to the food, get to the, get to population thirteen and beyond. So, I do see you. You can wake up, Mr. Veteran. Join the main army. This one I'll keep for a little while longer, just in case. We don't want any surprises there. You guys finished. Lovely. Just join the professional worker. So, I kind of need this guy to go down to the Ottomans, but that's going to take forever and a day. If he'd even be willing to take a trade deal, that is. I guess we'll just sweep out around here and... Yeah. It's going to be a long road, but that's fine. Sumerians! I'm so going to... Arg. To kill you dead, and then some. Yeah, I'm... Grr. Square, maybe. Now, yeah, well, done is done.
Okay, someone else has some ships on the water. Uh. What the? Take your empty threats elsewhere. That's it. Goodbye, Theodora. Well, now they are building this mix company. Yeah, that's because the AIs are all trading techs. We know they are. Uh, that is one thing I've always hated in Civ. So I am very glad they eventually removed that. I think research agreements and that kind of stuff is a much better idea. Yeah, I was supposed not to do this, but uh, yeah, here we go. I was not supposed to do that. Oh well. That's all the roads up there, you. Oh, it's outside here and just road up the area. There's the North Pole, if nothing else. Yay for discoveries. So now the question is, can we outtake all the other sieves? No idea. Um, what's the big picture? Yeah, we desperately need chemistry. And then onwards there. We need to start shifting into productive gears. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, wake you. And all of you guys move in one stack. If there were a lot of you guys, I don't know. And you go there. Split you up a little bit. So, the question of the hour, do we have saltpeter? I haven't seen it yet, but we I have hopes. Might as well check. Thank goodness we have saltpeter. Sigh of relief. Yes, definitely sigh of relief there. It would not be fun to lack Soul Peter. Oh, you already have a road there. Ah, move on to the next one then. I was wondering why the button didn't work. So here's the thing, once we get the Shakespeare Theatre, I'll probably start um, integrating a few citizens in Chichen Itza. Because I can. I don't need this many workers. And those slaves are free, they're kind of also kind of slow and annoying and there are so many of them. Ugh. Even though we might actually need it once we get to the railroads. Now that I think about it, I'll see what we do. But yeah, we should be able to get both of those wonders. We are very productive. 
And they are also capped at 12, so they can't outproduce me, I think. Hope, pray, what have you. Okay, so we have our units. We need to start thinking about military production then. As soon as you have the banks, certainly. Though they are getting kind of uppity too, so... Yeah, I agree. You're gonna build up two musketmen at the very least. Actually, no, you're gonna build more than that. I will three musketmen in every town. And then a bank. To pay for it all. Though you probably need a cathedral as well before you go to war. I will say, get, do that first. Just improve your defenses. And it is much the same here. We kind of need some basic defenses and some finances. Yeah, switch around. That's Barracks, three musketmen, and uh, probably the university, yes. You need to, we need to keep up in tech. You are still far behind, so that's okay. I don't think they're gonna kill us up there. But I've been wrong before. Just about all the squares here. I suppose down there. chemistry, we lack democracy, we have everything else that we have, so yeah, we're barely keeping this afloat. Trades, those are only potential trades, and she would, uh, would you be willing to trade now then? Oddly enough she would, okay. Oh dear. Well, I guess we're gonna have to take a short break here to tell while I sort out whatever this is. Maximum hypertext link succeeded. Another little bug, maybe. We'll see. Or I can just click it away. Hypertext succeeded. I don't, I'm not sure what that bug is. But just in case, we're gonna make a quick save. trust this game anymore. Seems to be a bit rickety. Oh yeah, and I probably want to start upgrading my units. Um, is there a macro way of doing that? Can I go to the military advisor and say uh, view by unit and say spearmen. I want to upgrade all of them. Apparently I can't do that, but uh, okay, I can go there, and then I can't upgrade because there's no 
building there. I guess. What about Tinkal? My goal. You can definitely upgrade you. 45 gold. Well, that's still pretty darn expensive. Javelin throwers to longbowmen. Well. Yeah, we don't really need the slaves anymore. I, I'm actually okay with that. Crusaders, Crusaders can't be upgraded. <coughs> so we'll start with that and we'll sort things out eventually, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's gonna take a while to get an upgraded military. But we're gonna try. And at least we're doing well enough so we can get more palace stuff. Well, actually just... Oh! Some fancier entrances. Or some big columns. Now let's take the entrance thing first. Trebuchet can't be upgraded any further. Just stay put there. All of these guys can move straight there. And I believe you too. Ah oh, yeah, the whole thing, but don't move to the next square. But somewhere actually further away. Sometimes I can't help it. And we are improving just about everything, so there's not much left to do for most of these guys. Um, I'm gonna move you up here and wake the pikemen. <coughs> and just slowly upgrade the entire area. So yeah, it's going to cost a fortune to upgrade our army, but uh, oh well, if, if we're going to make this much money, we might as well get some use out of it, right? Getting kind of worried. We probably need to be a bit more defensive because our friend, uh, when our friends start threatening us, we're kind of. We're probably not as strong as we should be, so yeah. Well, a couple of musketmen. Three in each town, that's gonna be enough, I think, to keep, keep us going until the end of the game. Even if it's going to cost a fortune to maintain, but that's just how it's going to be. Please tell me you had a barracks. Yes, you did. And it's fine. I think we improved everything. Not that one. Let's go there. As for everyone else, I think we're pretty much done. So I'm thinking uh, these guys are just gonna march 
all the way down to Chichen Itza and just chill there. And I think you are going to do the same. I think I have roads just about everywhere, at least within our own territory. And there's nothing there that is connected, no? That one has a mine, yep. Uh, move to the one next, even though I said not to do that. That one is also just a road square. Uh, just move the stack there. All of these are now finished. Actually, you like a mine. Okay, let's help with that then. And that's that done. Uh, and this square needs a road. Everything else has been roaded up, except the forest out there. Medieval infantry, you just fortify right there, buddy. Right, I was supposed to make a bid for a trade route in the south. Let's do. This is a bit of a shallow area, but it doesn't seem to actually have a landmass. Yay, chemistry. So we're not behind anymore. And I'm gonna keep pushing for this and pray that the other guys don't get to theory of gravity before I finish one of the wonders. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, foreign advisor. It's basically kill Gilgamesh. He's the one we have to look out for. He has metallurgy. But not democracy. He doesn't have physics, so... And she doesn't have physics either, but she does have metallurgy. Yeah, they're trading text like mad, so... Yeah. We have to outproduce them all. That's pretty much it. Finish the barracks, and yeah, that's all we want to build. So many crusaders. They're gonna be quite the uh, throwaway units. <coughs> I'll send the musket up here because I believe we have. Oh, it's just a crusader. Well then. That is actually a square uh, connected to the town. Um, make a mine. Hammers are going to be worth more anyway. You also go there. Oh, railroads are going to be so good, but that's still ways off. Inca declared war on the... Okay. Someone wants to die. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's the build order I gave you, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. You do that. Wake up the warrior. University in Stokolosim. I'm going to check that because I think... You probably need some defensive units first. Or maybe not. Actually, you do need... Uh, you probably do need the Colosseum. Looking at what you have. Okay, like so then. Colosseum into bank. You probably want to get... Some defenses before the bank, at least. Barracks, and that, and bank. Oh, you don't have university either. Only need that too. We need everything. 
Uh, yes, you need an aqueduct in order to grow, so that's fine. Volcano has erupted. <laughs> Our unit was burned to a crisp. Oh, so was that one. Ouch. Yeah. So yeah, volcanoes. Yep, they kill people. <laughs> Confirmed. Volcano kill. Yeah, volcanoes kill people. Oh boy. Ah, uh, well. So we lost a lot of units. Yeah, defending near a volcano. Uh, not, not, for, not, well, not good. So we lost uh, two musketmen. And probably everything else in those air squares. Don't recall if there was anything else. I don't think there was. But there's a few musketmen that's painful enough. Especially when they're part of the line, so to speak. The defensive line. Mm, La Paza. Yeah, you're building musketmen, I believe, so that's fine. If you actually finish one, you're probably okay building more. And wake up the veteran pikemen. <coughs> and upgrade him. Actually, no. All the upgrading is going to happen in Tikal. We might have to move some units down here and fix that pollution. It's time to just send them down there, park there. At least they're moving in a stack now, that's good. Still don't want to move him, just in case an AI plops a town down there. I don't think you can, though. Two squares? Don't you need three? No, two squares is okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna keep that guy just guarding that spot. Just in case. Uh, you finished a bank. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to change your orders. You do have a barracks, yes you do. Lovely, musketman for you. Three musketmen and... Probably a caravel actually. We'll see. Marketplace and library sounds good. Uh, wake up the spearmen. are rolled there now. So this entire stack is just going to move south to the forest here as well. I mean, why not stack all our workers on one tile? What could possibly go wrong with that, huh? Nothing, I say. Nothing. Yeah, I really don't think we're going to actually be able to outtake the Sumerians. Not as long as they are being douches and trading tech with everybody else. And they are. And I'm, I know that that's what the AI tends to do, so... I'm not surprised by it. Annoyed by it, sure, but not surprised. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a short break here, I think. So, thank you for watching.